this video is really in the defense of men scary maybe us girls have been unfair to you men and I don't think I'll ever say that again so take it in take it in we pick on guys for height for height what can they do what can they do that is literally their parents genetics but I still want a six-foot king and the same goes for mental health with men. A lot of guys are suffering in silence because it's not manly to have depression or anxiety or to express that you're going through these things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just one thing before we start. I haven't slept. <laughs> it's currently 8.48 a.m. Why have I not slept? Because I am on crack. I am a crack head. Obviously just kidding, but I literally couldn't sleep at all and I was like, oh, the lighting's pretty. So I'm gonna just film now. I have my coffee here. I'm not even a coffee drinker, but I was like, as I'm doing my makeup, my makeup, which I'm gonna take off immediately after this video so that I can sleep. So yeah, as I was doing my makeup, I was sipping on my coffee. To try and just like wake up, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're just gonna have to excuse me for this <laughs> video if I'm all over the place But it should be okay So, just like last week's video, we are talking about the unfair and unrealistic standards put on the different genders Obviously right now we're just talking about male and female So last week we talked about the unrealistic <laughs> standards put on women and men I really came for your necks so I said this week I'm gonna be fair I'm gonna be impartial I'm gonna speak your truth for you because I asked you to send in your responses and you came through thank you guys <laughs> and I have them right here on my phone so we're just gonna talk through them guys this is finally your chance to have your say and it's coming from a woman's mouth so hopefully that makes you a bit happy let's get into it so someone said and this is one of the most popular answers we're expecting to be more successful and pay for everything even when we're still dependent it's true um, obviously as women we're all guilty of this even though we might have been at the age where we were still dependent on parents we would still be like okay why is he not paying for the state like you should be paying you're the guy I never even thought about it like that when we were at that age <laughs> Okay, personally me, I'm still at that age. Well, we're sort of still dependent on our parents financially. Why is it that we still expect guys to go above and beyond? That doesn't actually make any sense because that's not even their own money. But then we come for guys when we're like, oh, you're whipping your parents' car, you're flexing your parents' money, but they haven't grown up to the point where they're able to make their own money. Yikes, yeah, that's actually really unfair. <laughs> I've just realized that. Thank you to whoever who sent that in. More on the money topic. A lot of you guys also said that you just feel like you have to be rich in general, more wealthy, more successful, and it's true. Society has put this thing on guys that they have to be the breadwinners, they have to be the ones bringing the money to the relationship, bringing the money to the family, and that is a lot of pressure to put on men. And I'm seeing that men are feeling this from a very young age, which is like very scary. Because for me, I just recently in the last couple of years started thinking oh my god how can I be financially independent whereas I feel like guys typically think about that way earlier than us women do just because of how society is set up obviously this isn't the case women are equally as driven but it just so happens that the responsibility has been put on guys which forces them to think you know business-wise how can I make money how can I you know especially guys that like haven't fully figured out what they want to do in life they might feel like time is running out for them a lot quicker than the rest of us because they've been taught well you need to be providing ASAP you need to be out of your mom's house ASAP now and I actually asked my mom when would you want my brother to move out and when would you want me to move out and she was like oh yeah your brother needs to move out ASAP but you can stay you know and it's like that's crazy that she's given me like unlimited time to stay at home and figure myself out but like she figured my brother needs to like leave you know what I mean but obviously not seriously it was like more of a joke but I think that joke was telling of like the situation another guy said we're expected to be strong and not show emotion and if you complain many girls say you created the patriarchy which is true but isn't the common goal ending it I'm sorry if girls have responded to the whole thing of men not being able to express their emotions as oh but you created the patriarchy so suck it up I think that's such a backwards 
backwards way of thinking like okay you now have to deal with what you created like yeah men created the patriarchy and you know we're all suffering because of it but that doesn't mean we kick them while we're down this is another like really really common answer for not being able to express your emotions to fit this idea of being a man whatever that means but I think now we've all realized where true manhood lies is in showing emotion being brave enough to speak your mind speak your truth be comfortable in your masculinity because we don't do toxic masculinity around here I think a lot of guys still need to like get to understand that but we need to give them a break at the same time because this has been drilled into men's minds for the last well forever literally forever we're literally just starting to unlearn these things so I do feel for them and the same goes for mental health with men. A lot of guys are suffering in silence because it's not manly to have depression or anxiety or to express that you're going through these things. So they really just like sit there. And unfortunately, that's why like male suicide rates are so much higher than women's. They feel like they have no one to talk to. Go to a therapist, they're like, ah, nah, like who does that? By the way, we all need therapy. We'll come to that in another video, but men especially not knowing how to channel their their anger not knowing how to channel their emotions and that's how women become their outlet like in relationships men will open up to their girlfriends and men will open up to just girls who are their friends more than their own guy friends because they're not comfortable and then all of a sudden all of this is put on women and like we become re rehabilitation centers anyway but I genuinely don't think they go out of their way to do this it is just they feel like they have nowhere else to turn and us women being nurturing and caring are like yeah say whatever's on your mind speak your truth let me know what's going on and they're like oh okay I guess that's okay and in that sense women become allies to men because we give them a safe space to vent and I think if men were just given a safe space to vent to anyone that pressure would also be relieved on women and men would have better mental health in general gosh you guys really go through a lot and also men's mental health isn't taken as seriously that's just my opinion I don't know if it's fact that's just what I've seen I don't think it's taken as seriously but I could be wrong someone said I dream of a world where women actually talk to me when something's wrong rather than expect me to be a mind reader and immediately click what's going on you know what that's fair enough that is fair enough us girls we can just think that you guys understand how our mind works and automatically expect you guys to be the perfect partners the perfect friends our minds work so differently I think us girls have to be more patient with men in that sense this is really <laughs> This is really hurting me having to speak up for that. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ladies, by the way, let me talk to you ladies. By the way, sometimes men have to be told. No, not even sometimes. A lot of the time men have to be told what we're thinking, how we're feeling, how we want them to respond, what's an appropriate response because they're genuinely clueless. And it's not fair of us to be like, well, you should have known I was feeling this and thinking this. No, imagine they don't get us. I wish they did. I really wish they did, but they don't get us. <laughs> so let's cut them some slack. Someone said, we're also expected to meet the physical standards of so many people for example being 62 plus <laughs> but whenever a guy voices any preferences he has he's shamed even if it was said in a reasonable manner at me then <laughs> just at me just fucking at me you yeah, know I'm guilty of this <laughs> I think the stars my man is a six foot king but <laughs> guys it's actually not fair because the standards we put on men are things they can't change does that make sense oh my god a girl's gonna drag me you know my audience is like 90 percent women but it's true ladies let's actually be real we pick on guys for height for height what can they do what can they do that is literally their parents genetics was screaming my man has to be six five they can't help it they actually they actually can't help it they actually can't help it i think preferences based on things biologically we can't help are kind of stupid just stupid say skin tone okay <laughs> This whole skin tone debate, I don't want to get into it, but maybe skin tone, although I have been caught slacking and saying I prefer dark skin guys. <laughs> Height, again, I've been caught slacking <laughs> and I've said I prefer six foot and above. But like, what can they do? Oh, what can they do? It's so unfair. But I still want a six foot king. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, do you know what I hate? Girls that are 5'3 begging for a six foot cake. Shut up, man, shut up. Leave it for us tall girls. Okay, I'm not tall. I'm kind of tall, I'm tall for a girl. Leave it to us tall girls to get those six foot. Like that, that's a whole other separate conversation, but short girls, you will be so content. You will be so content with a 5'10 guy. 5'10 is actually low key tall. <laughs> I can't believe I'm defending men like this. You'd be so content with like a 5'7 guy. If you're 5'3 and the, your man's 5'7, imagine that's like, that's a whole ass gap. <laughs> be happy, like. Some of us are struggling, you know what I mean? Okay, not me, I'm not struggling. I actually wanna go back to the whole point of how we expect men to be automatically switched on in relationships like mentally because I'm realizing a lot of the responses are that. One person said the expectation of being able to understand women, if you haven't been raised to do so, learning how to understand and unlearning the ignorance and biases towards women is difficult and takes time. Wow, wow. No, it's a fact that this guy, whoever he may be, is acknowledging that men do have inherent biases towards women and they haven't been raised to understand like how women's minds work because they just didn't care in the past but the, all this guy is asking for is like give us time i don't know who you are but you you are what the future of manhood should be and should look like it's accepting yeah we're imperfect but please show us how to you know be better ladies men communicate with your partners on a more lighter hearted note someone said eh hey, by the way not every guy can grow that lumberjack beard big up the beardless kings big up you beardless kings even beard you guys you guys can't help if you can grow a beard or not. Maybe we've been unfair to you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. Maybe us girls have been unfair to you men. And I don't think I'll ever say that again, so take it in, take it in, take it in. I said I'd be unbiased, I'm being unbiased. Someone said, I've seen girls ask guys to be career driven, but the same ones have no plot, just vibes. Just vibes. No plot, just vibes. Girls can pressure you to buy them the world, yet they can't do it themselves. I, I can't stand that shit. I can't, I can't. Because how are you gonna expect a man to do all of these things for you? Buy you a car, buy you this, give you the entire freaking world, and you have zero ambition. How are you gonna be dependent on a man? Oh, God. God forbid. Girls, do not expect men to sort you out if you can't sort yourself out. Okay, I, I, I literally just did a dance break. Guys, I, I need to sleep. Like I said, I haven't slept the entire night. I'm losing my mind. This video is really in the defense of men. Scary! <laughs> Another person said, a girl can play you and you'll laugh about it, but roles reversed ain't shit. No comment, your honor. <laughs> it, it goes both ways. Well, at least for me, it goes both ways. If you play, guys, <laughs> do your thing, queen. <laughs> no, I'm actually realizing there's a double standard. We actually gas girls when they play guys, but we slander men when they do it. But no one should be playing anyone. I just think personally, in my experience, men have done more damage. I just think men just lie. No further comment. <laughs> We're gonna end on a deep note. I feel like I always end on a deep note. And this one is a very, very long response. So listen carefully, cause I feel like a lot of you may need to hear this. It's honestly my favorite response from this whole video. So this guy says, firstly, I think all gender expectations are inherently misogynistic and patriarchy driven. Men set the expectations for women, but I also think men set the expectation for men. I'ma let that sink in. <laughs> because y'all created the patriarchy, so these expectations are also created by fellow men. Doesn't excuse them. We still need to abolish them, but. Secondly, onto the expectation of masculinity in its genetic sense literally confuses me. Gender, in my mind, is entirely a social construct. There is no merit at all to me of being anything more masculine or feminine. It's literally made up by us. Obviously, you're assigned your gender at birth, depending on your biological sex, but the attributes given to gender, being masculine, being feminine, and energy, all of that we made up. All of that stuff is made up. Gender is a spectrum. 
like I said in my last video. He goes on to say, and I find this notion that men have to be a certain way to be a real man so stupid. And then toxic masculinity enters the conversation and it literally hurts everyone. Guys, this next bit is really important and it's also the last bit of this message. I also think linking to this notion of performing masculinity links to a suppression of men when exploring their sexualities because it doesn't link with the typical manly idea, which then in turn leads to a lack of honesty in a lot of people with themselves and an increased self-hatred, which then links to more anger, more suppression, more men enforcing the gender norms and the cycle continues. So if you didn't get that last bit, what this person is saying is that this whole performative masculinity makes men less inclined to explore their sexuality, which is why we see a lot of self-hatred in gay men, in bi men, in any man questioning their sexuality and this hatred and anger leads to more suppression and I think that is so important. Guys, toxic masculinity is harming men in the LGBTQ plus community as well. If not the most, to be honest, if we're being honest with ourselves, if not the most, they're probably affected the most of, apart from women. That's given me a lot to think about and I just wanna thank that person again for that response. And on that note, I wanna thank all of you guys for interacting with that post. As I said in my previous video, not many guys interact with my post, it's usually women, so thank you for you know being so open and sharing that's amazing and I hope I've said your piece well I hope I've conveyed the message you were trying to put across to us girls and I hope I've you know been a voice for you guys <laughs> weirdly enough because at the end of the day we should all be loving and kind to one another and patient and open-minded anyway it is now 9 25 a.m. I am going to sleep <laughs> and I'm gonna sleep the whole day if you like this video and want to see more videos from me be sure to subscribe and also give this video a like comment down below what you thought about this video did any part strike you do you disagree with anything I am open to having any form of conversation down below as long as it's respectful and kind we don't bash here <laughs> I love you guys so much remember I've started my road to 5k subscribers don't know why so please 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 subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye